But right now we are talking books. And this was really fun. Last week we hosted a dinner party here in our studio. The winners of our Canada Reads contest, the Plus One Book Club, joined author Katharina Vermet to have some Thai food and talk about her novel, the break. And we're going to hear some of that conversation later on in the show. But first, I was here and I asked the eight book club members at the dinner to introduce themselves and tell us what books they've enjoyed reading. We're sitting around the table here in our studio. Nice conversations going on. Memories of books past. Katharina Vermette is here. And Katharina, welcome to PEI. Thank you. You came all this way for some Thai food. <laughs> Thai food. Cook- there's cookies. <laughs> there's a book club. There is World a book good. club. Yeah. Uh, how many members do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Wow, a good group here. Why don't we go around the table and we'll ask you about the Plus One Book Club and we'll get each of you to say your name if that's okay. Maybe one of the titles of one of the books that you've loved reading as part of the book club. My name is Alita Love and I can think of Nora Webster. That was a book, right? Yes. Not an author. <laughs> Irish. Irish. Yeah. Yes, it was great. Yeah. That's the one that sort of stands yeah. out. My name's Diane Terrio, and the our most recent book we read uh, two months ago was Boys in the Boat. And I you like that one? Enjoyed that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cheryl Wagner, I see. Yeah, my name's Cheryl Wagner, and I'm new to the book club in the last four months or so, and my favorite so far is The Break, no question. All right. <laughs> and my name is Mary Lou Griffin Jenkins, and I have been a member of the book club since we started. Um, our first book was Late Nights on Air, Oh, nice. and that was a really a great book to start with. Oh, Elizabeth with. Hayes' book, yeah, yes. that's really mm-hmm. nice. So being there at the beginning, explain to me the Plus One, Plus One Book Club. Where does that come from? Well, there are a few of us here who are originals to the book club, and we've added more people as we've gone through the years. We started in 2008 in September, and we had a a forming meeting, and then we chose the book we would read first. Uh, there was one man in the group among the among the women. He was the plus one. Yeah, <laughs> and so he was the plus one. And then when when he wasn't coming anymore, uh, we had two baby boys born into the book club, and so they, while they were. Um, containable and able to attend. We're our plus ones. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where the name is. I'm Allison McDonald. And um, in terms of favorite book, I actually, you stole my thunder on yeah. that one. I think yeah. that the very first book that we read really stuck with me. Late Nights on Air was an excellent read. And my name's Robin Kidd, and I'm fairly new to the book club in the last year or two. I guess what I like about the book club is it gets me to read things I normally wouldn't read. So I really enjoyed reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, nice. Yeah. A classic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tony Mills, and I'm uh, another original member. I was just thinking back on the books that we read, and, and a, a number of them I, I, I really, really liked. But I, th- I think if I had to pick one favorite, it would be The Break. Nice. And not just because Katharina's sitting here. <laughs> but because it helps. Because it, I just felt such an emotional connection and and, uh, impact from this book that it just, yeah, hit me at the right time, I guess. Good. I know we're going to get some good questions, but we'll meet our our final book club member here. Hi, my name is Anita Singh, and I just found out tonight that I am also an original member. (laughs) I didn't realize that. Um, One book that stands out in my mind is um, Amy McKay, The Birth House. I really enjoyed that. How often does the book club get together? Is this a monthly group? Yes, once a month. Yeah. Every month. And, and what does it mean to each of you to be involved? For me, it's a, a reason to read fiction, because otherwise I read a lot of nonfiction, and I wouldn't make a point. Uh, I would have probably about five books going on my bedside table, but not reach completion with any mm. of them. So it is that um, it gives that structure that I need to read a book a month. Yeah. I read a lot of fiction, and um, you know, but I read it, and I think about it and I move on to the next one and it's just nice to uh, you know get those thoughts out and share them with other people and and you know talk about the books once in a while and mm. and and read stuff that I normally wouldn't read because we get some titles that I never would have picked up and read mm. but mm-hmm. really enjoyed them so have you ever had the chance to sit down with an author before no this is a first, no. <laughs> first. and of course it's in a radio studio with a, a table and flowers and candlelight and Thai food so I'm going to clear out because uh, I, I know you all have questions for Katharina so uh, here we go the book club Katharina the, the plus one book club plus one <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> 
So we have the introductions done. Those are some of the members of the Plus One Book Club. What a great group. And in our next hour, we'll hear some of that conversation, some of the questions the group had for the author of The Break, the Canada Reads finalist, Katharina Vermette. So that's coming up after 7 o'clock.